Hi guys, this video is for RC3D who wanted to know what the difference was between using my pan scourer filter and just using the water jet intake straight into the water. So we'll try it going straight into the water first and I'll tilt the boat and see if we can see how far the jet goes backwards. I'll put the front of the boat against the side here so we know how far we're going. put it into there Back out again So I would say absolutely no difference and the benefit of the filter is that we don't get any of the dead flies in there. Next thing I'll try is restricting the actual outlet. I'll put a bit of uh, something in there just to make the outlet hole a little bit smaller. So this will be to check Space Dude 609's suggestion. I'm going to use this drinking straw Close that up. So that's going to restrict the hole. So we get a thinner jet, but it's going further. But whether that equates to more power, the only way you would really do, uh, only way you could really check that is to go on a boating lake and do a measured distance.
I've cleared it back out the way. What I'll do is superimpose the two videos on top of each other and see if we can see any difference. Well, I think we can safely say that the restricted jet or restricted outlet significantly increased the thrust there. So that's worth knowing. I think that'll do for today.